Everything that happens at Public Utilities is tied to our GIS. From people out in the field to customer service to survey, everybody is using GIS. Years ago, you would do a kind of a, a master plan of your water system or your sewer system. What happens is it's a one-time shot. So it's like, here's your master plan for 10 years ago. Where now, you know, we model our entire system every day. So we're kind of doing a master plan every single day. It's always running. We now have this information and data accessible to broad cross-sections of not only our internal users, our employees, but also our external customers that sometimes need to get access to this. So it's really uh, made us much more efficient on how we do business. It's made us much more uh, integral in making sure that everybody that needs to know can have access to the data uh, without having to go hunt up the keeper of that data. And it's been a, a great addition to this department in terms of making us much less siloed and much more of an integrated organization. For example, we would uh, have work orders come in to locate. People would pull paper maps and go out and try and locate uh, a facility. And it was very um, time consuming and not as accurate. And with the online tools now, we can all do that with tablet applications and the maps are live. ArcGIS Online is very similar to any kind of web map. So for them, it's web mapping and they understand exactly yeah, well, yeah, you know, you zoom in, you zoom out, it's similar to everything else, and it's an interface they're used to, and so that's really changed it, so a lot of people are actually using the map, whereas some people before were afraid of the map. I've been doing this for like 23 years, so back in the day, it was, we had books, 11 by 17 uh, binder books, the old school, and I, half of my truck at one point, half full of, of just books. I've seen uh, microfilm, come and go and I've seen every evolution. You relied on information that was probably six months to a year old. For any detail, you had to go to another place, but that would take days, days to, to dig all that up. I mean, their trucks are now their office because they're basically out in the field working constantly now. When you only have 48 hours from, from the time you receive your work until it has to be completed, the less I have to uh, go confer with people to find out if you know information on it. I can simply, it's right there. It's everything I need to know is right in front. Of me. So the time aspect is is everything. We've also added a lot of searching capabilities into those maps that allow them to like find a manhole, you know, or find a valve. They can just type it in. When it, an entire street is just a bank of snow, all I have is the iPad. I walk right up over the meter. The uh, meter had been surveyed in, so I, it took me right up to it, and uh, I found it where I would have to dig the entire bank out by hand previously. So that saved me half a day. We average about 3,000 locates a month, not to mention they're getting their work done for the next day. When there's an investigation checked in by customer service, it automatic goes onto the map, and then it puts it on the day when it's due, and then also it has the ones that are due within the next few weeks. And I just keep moving off the dots, and I get probably 40% better work performance out of it. I bet a lot of the times that I have tried to find meters before they, I had those, I probably could have been an hour on the job instead of like 10 minutes. And it also gives me the meter numbers and the MXU numbers. They can take payments in the field, whereas before they were calling in and you know saying, this is the credit card number, this is the person's name, instead of just taking the credit card and putting it in themselves. And so a lot of the convenience for them of being able to do that without calling constantly on the radio or the cell phone. And then it frees up the representatives they were calling to actually answer calls for doing their job versus doing this investigation or collecting job. We don't have crews sitting around waiting for somebody else to bring them information. They have it in their hands. A local government is going through a major change where openness and transparency is a major attribute that um, all of our elected officials are looking for. We've published all of our trail maps on our website where you can just go and you can kind of read up on the trail so it might say it's to this elevation, are you allowed to have a dog or not? Or you could actually just pull up the map right there in your home or on the trail itself. All our stuff is free for, for citizens.
We do put a lot of other things out there for the public as well, like FEMA maps, all our floodplain maps. All of those are interactive maps available. So the trend today for GIS, or at least for within public utilities, is definitely faster maps, better access to, to all employees and the public. It doesn't have to just do with water, sewer, and storm. It also has to do with people seeing a fire hydrant, water flying out of it, and being able to post, say, hey, we've got a bad hydrant here. It's right at this location, and being able with their phone to actually click and say, you know, and have a dispatch go out there and actually dispatch someone to go out and fix it. I think that the public, our management, the mayor, you know, uh, everybody's looking for more for less. It's going to be more work, less time with fewer people. I mean, really, in the long run, that's what it seems to be. And the only way to do that is with technology, and we're using every piece or any way of using it we can. And ArcGIS Online allows us to do a lot of what we need right now.